You will have received an admission pack from the hospital regarding your admission, which will tell you the date that you're due to come in. Before you leave home in the morning, please make sure that you do ring the ward to make sure that there is a bed for you. You can have breakfast at about 6.30 in the morning, something light, toast or some cereal and a cup of tea, but then you shouldn't eat anything after that. You will be allowed small amounts of water until you go down for the procedure. After that breakfast you can take all your regular tablets with the exception of metformin for diabetes and warfarin. If you're taking metformin you'll be asked to stop taking it 48 hours before you come in and for 48 hours after the procedure. If you're taking warfarin we will give you specific instructions in the clinic regarding stopping this prior to your procedure. If you're taking water tablets it's advisable not to have them first thing in the morning. We can give them to you after your procedure. You will need to be on two tablets to thin your blood once we do the angioplasty aspirin plus another drug called clopidogrel. If you're not already taking clopidogrel, you will be given a prescription in the clinic to start taking it one week before you come in. After the angioplasty, you'll need to take it for either a month or a year, depending on what type of stent we insert. And we will give you a card after your procedure detailing what stent you've had and how long you need to be on it. You will need to shave your groin before you come into hospital. It's the right side of your groin and we advise you to shave from around about your navel down to mid-thigh, the front and the back of your leg. The reason we do this is because you have sticky tape put on and it can be uncomfortable when it comes off. Sometimes the procedures are now carried out using your right wrist, but because we're not sure which route we'll be taking, we would advise you to shave your groin anyway. When you arrive at the hospital, report to the main entrance. You will then go to the admissions department where they will check your personal details and then they will direct you to the ward. You'll be looked after either on the medical care unit or on B floor, and both of these wards are on the ground floor of the hospital, a short walk from the main entrance. Then we've actually got a bed. Most patients will have already been to pre-admission clinic and um, there's a short form to go through. The doctor will see them briefly and put a cannula in their arm. Those that haven't been to pre-admission clinic will have a little bit more of an examination by the doctor, a bit more paperwork by the nurse. One of the doctors, either the consultant or the cardiology registrar, will come and talk to you and explain the procedure and get you to sign the consent form and then you'll be walked down to the catheter lab and greeted by the staff there. It's difficult to give an exact time because we have an emergency service here, uh, but we slot patients in as they're ready and as there's time in the catheter labs.